Okay, so for this tutorial we're going to be showing you how to set up a, your own web server on your home computer um, using ISS, which is um, the Windows Internet Information Services. Okay, so first of all we're going to go to Start and then Control Panel. And in Windows XP you're going to go to Add or Remove Programs, which should be on the top up here. And then you go into that and then on the side of there should be Windows Features which you're going to go into and then install ISS and um, make sure you tick the box on the ISS server and then wait for, that to, wait for that to install and you may need the Windows XP installation CD to do this and uh, for Windows XP and Windows, uh, Windows Vista and Windows 7 you're going to go down to programs and features and then down the side here you'll see turn Windows features on or off and then install it through there using the same process as XP okay so once that's installed you're going to open Internet Information Services, or ISS. For the start menu, it should be in All Programs, and then just find it down there. Or in Windows, the one I'm using, Windows Server, it'll be in here. Okay, so once you've opened that, you'll see that your computer name should be here, and then under that should be Application Pools and Sites. And the default website that it brings up by itself is Default Website. And then, okay, for this, we're going to delete that. So go right click and then Remove, and then, yep. And under application pools, go down and find default website, right click on that, and then remove. And then click yes. Okay, now back under sites, right click that, go add website. Okay, now call the website what you want to. So for this, we're going to call it test. And under the physical path, we're going to find the path or the folder that you want to use for your website or a folder that you've already got all your website files in if you've already created a website. So for this tutorial we're going to go under administrator, under documents, and we're going to add a new folder called website. Now once that's done, click on website and click OK. Now under binding, keep it as HTTP unless you want a secure server, but keep it like that and then IP address all unassigned and then make sure it's always port 80. And always make sh uh, and make sure for this tutorial you've deleted the default website page that was here, and then make sure start website immediately is ticked, and then click OK. Okay, now if it comes up with a little red X like it has here, just come back up in site, right click it, and then go refresh, and it'll make sure it's started for you. Okay, now under test, if you go into default document, you should see all these options here, and those are basically the pages that are in that folder that it will search for first. So let's just say if you um, went to localhost where this will check that out soon where this is hosted at the moment it will search for one of these documents to pull up first for your home page basically. Okay so now we're going to go into the folder that we put this into. So we put it into documents and we put it into website. So under here you'll see that is completely empty. So we're going to go new I'm going to go text document just for the time being. I'm going to open that and this will just be a test. It'll be hello. Okay, so we're going to go file save as. Just make sure it's in the same um, same folder you created the website in, which is in our example is website. And we're going to rename that as index.html, which is one of the options under the default document. Okay, so now once that's saved, you'll see the index.html there. You can delete the new text document. Okay, now go into your web browser, whether it be Netscape, Mozilla, or Internet Explorer, and go localhost. Okay, now once you do this, it should come up with the website you've just created or the web page you've just created, which in our case is Hello, just a basic website, and that that'll be your home page. Okay, now once that's done, you can also we'll just get rid of that. If under here you'll oh sorry, under here you'll see HTML, ASP, HTM, HTML, ASPX. If you're wanting to host PHP sites or a PHP website, you're gonna want to go to Google and then go PHP on IIS. And depending on which ISS you've got, you may be able to do it through Google and just go into this link here, which is PHP on ISS, the official Microsoft ISS site. Um, on older versions of ISS, you may have to 
actually install PHP by yourself which all you have to do is go to php.com yep p oh, php.net go to there and um, you should be able to find instructions to install this on ISS via Google um, I'm not actually sure on the exact pages as I've got um, PHP oh, I've got ISS 7 so I can install PHP um, pretty quick using that but um, if you've got Vista or Windows 7 you should be able to just use the previous page which is uh, this one here PHP on ISS 7 um, otherwise just install it yourself and just follow the easy instructions and uh, that should allow you to host PHP websites okay um, so we've got that completely set up now so that's your basic website um, this one here localhost and then it'll come up to your index page um, for anything else just comment me and um, I'll be able to sort anything else out and I'll be able to make another um, tutorial and um, hopefully this should allow you to set up your own page okay now also if you've got your own static IP address or your own website that's connected to the computer at the time um, I'm just going to use a proxy server here so I don't use my local network and um, I'll just show you that this does work from um, the internet and then I can access it from the internet and that's because I've got a static IP address on my um, with my ISP and I'll just see if that works okay so I'm gonna go to my ISP um, the IS the static IP address that the ISP gave me which is this and um, if you've got your router set up properly it should actually um, contact your page but obviously it hasn't um, but yeah this should work for anyone else I've just um, I haven't set it up properly so um, hopefully this tutorial has helped a few people out and I will be doing one with the um, Apache with an Apache server and I'll be using um, UniServer and I'll set a couple of links to that in the next tutorial. Thanks.